Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video um, featuring some of my favorites for the month of August. And um, there's a lot of different varieties of products I included in this video. Just some things I've been using a lot. Some of them in my tutorial, some of them not. But I have really been, I've either rediscovered some of these products or kind of discovered them for the first time recently and really wanted to share them with you guys. So I guess I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I really am loving that I just bought a brand new container of is the Ballistex DCT. This is kind of weird, but it's the Blistex DCT, and I guess the obviously the DCT stands for Daily Conditioning Treatment, and I love this because it protects your lips and it's SPF 20. Um, it's kind of a bizarre color. <laughs> it's like that orange yellow color, but it doesn't go on your lips that color. It's definitely um, just sheer, and it smells. I don't know something about the scent of this lip balm I love I can't really put my finger on what it is exactly but I've been using this since high school and this is amazing it makes your lips feel really tingly when you put it on I even care for chapstick that much or you know the other blessed sex it's always been this little baby it is like amazing it just feels good on your lips it's awesome okay second product is actually not um involving like makeup it is um the when by chaz dean sweet almond mint styling cream and i have to say chaz you're a miracle worker um when is the most amazing shampoo i've ever used um i've gotten my friend who's a hairdresser and has access to all kinds of amazing salon um, salon products and stuff she loves it um, I got my mom addicted to it she loves it and whenever you purchase the actual shampoo and conditioner it comes with um, a couple different styling products one of them is the styling cream and it is awesome I just started using it again it's just like a clear a clear balm and you only need a little bit and this stuff is like the cure-all for any hair issues you might be having. I popped a little bit of this stuff in my hair and it made it so easy to style, so soft, so shiny, which if you're a blonde you know it's hard to have shiny hair. Blonde hair doesn't really reflect light so to have a product that makes my hair shiny I know it's a good one. So Chaz Dean, you're the man. When is awesome. I wanted to include the Smashbox Artificial Light in this video. Um. This color is Flash. It looks like just a regular beige, but it has like pink, peachy, pink, golden tones in it. Artificial Light Luminizing Lotion. This stuff just gives you a nice, dewy, glowy um, effect on your cheeks, and it's like totally peeling. That's really weird. Anyways, I like the fact that it comes in a pump because um, it's so easy to apply. I usually would put it on with my fingers. If I'm doing someone else's makeup, I would like put it on my hand. And um, this is the MAC 188. This is great for foundation. So since this is kind of like a foundation consistency, obviously it's a lotion. I feel like this is the best brush to kind of use if you want to stay away from using your fingers. Like on the top of your cheekbones. You can run it down the center of your nose, a little on the chin. Um, I think a little bit really does go a long way with this stuff though. It's really pretty. And it's really pigmented. This isn't really like a favorite lip product. This is kind of different. It's a favorite lip combo that I've discovered that I um, absolutely love. I've been wearing this. I've been combining the Fantabulous um, Dazzle Glass by MAC and Underage Lip Gloss. I've been combining these two all summer and this is like my favorite combination. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera the way it should be, but when you um, combine these two colors, it creates like a bubblegum pink 
um, a super cool pink or kind of like if you add more of the lighter lip gloss at the under age it'll make more of like a really light lilac color they should really just combine these two colors and come out with that like as a color in and of itself because it's so cool I would buy it my next favorite is um a MAC eyeshadow this is print I recently used this in my um, glowy gray eye makeup tutorial and I have really been loving this color. Um, it's like an inky, an inky gray color. I've been wearing it in my crease every day, like almost every day this week. And it's great because all I do is put a little bit of paint only paint pot all over my lid. I don't even, I haven't even been using like any other lid colors and just take um, a little bit of print in the crease and I'm actually wearing it right now it's just a really nice smoky gray I don't know if you can see but um, I really like it the next product is the um, Bug Zone Big and Healthy Lipstick by Bare Minerals and I have it in the color Marrakesh which I really like and it also comes, um, this is a lip liner, lipstick, and lip plumper all in one. So this product does triple duty. And it really works. Like, I think it makes my lips look bigger. So, this is um, also kind of cool. It comes with a little built-in sharpener in the end, which also tells you what color you're buying. And um, I think this product is awesome. I mean, if you're looking for a great nude lip liner that, like, goes with any color nude, um, that's a great color. I just wiped my lip gloss off that I just had on so I can show you what this looks like. Plus, I think it goes better with the blush I'm about to show you. I can feel it, like, tingling already, which is kind of cool. This is Melba Blush by MAC. It's just the prettiest, um, it's kind of like a corally peach. And I've just been loving this color. I think it's really hard to find like a corally peach blush like that that doesn't turn orange when you um, when you apply it to your skin. Um, that one has just enough of pink in it that keeps it from getting that orange tint to it. But it's still, as you can see, I'm wearing it right now, and it's definitely um, it's a peachy color. So I love this one. It's just gorgeous. Those are my favorites for the month of August. I try to keep it really condensed so I'm like really showing you my actual favorites of the month and not just products that I like threw in there. I hope you guys are having a great summer. The summer flew by. I can't believe it's almost over. Fall is my favorite season so I'm kind of excited. In the fall and winter you can definitely do some darker more dramatic looks so I'm kind of, I don't know, that's something to look forward to. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like what you see and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.